is unavoidable, then the first step is to ensure a thorough risk assessment is carried out. This will identify the potential risks and enables adequate and appropriate controls to be put into place to prevent injury, whether serious or non-serious. There are three elements to the hierarchy of control. Avoid, prevent and minimise. Avoid means avoid work at height whenever possible. Prevent. Prevent risk of falls that could potentially occur due to the work at height restraints, machines or equipment. And minimise. Minimise the consequences, for example, by having exclusion zones, mesh around the site, a fall arrest harness or system, and fixed or temporary guardrails. Always avoid the need for work at height where possible. There are a number of things that can be put into place to avoid work at height. Some examples include installing adjustable lighting that can be lowered to the ground floor to change bulbs or maintain the lighting. Use extension arms for window cleaners. Constructing at ground level and then move into position. So, how to prevent the risk of falls? This can be done through either using an existing place of work that is already safe, for example, using a non-fragile roof with a permanent parameter or guardrail, or by ensuring that the appropriate work equipment to be used is suitable for the task. You can also consider other measures to prevent falls where working at height cannot be avoided. For example, installing temporary guardrails around the roof edge to prevent falls. If the risk of a person falling remains, you must take sufficient measures to minimise the distance and or the consequences of a fall. A few points to remember when thinking about minimising the consequences. The employer must do everything practicable to minimise the risk of a fall. The employer must provide training on how to use all PPE equipment. All PPE must be checked before each use to ensure it is working correctly. All work equipment must be checked and inspected at regular intervals and recorded. Remember, falls could still occur but you can minimise the severity of the injury. When selecting equipment for work at height, employers must provide the most suitable equipment for the job appropriate for the work and must take into account the weather conditions, the nature, frequency and the duration of the work and also the risk of the safety of everyone where the work equipment will be used.